All right, my guys are just telling me to let it flow. So, all right, this is what's also coming to me is that we're creators here, right? And so as a woman, you get to, our body is the, our bodies are our temple. You just have this one amazing, beautiful, juicy vessel that you get to <laughs> do this experience, this journey with. Um, but we do have, we do hold, I mean, this is theory, but you feel pain in your body. So it's like, it's hard to argue that, or to, it's, to me, it seems hard to argue that we don't hold, we don't house things in our body or that we don't like, we get, you get tumors is because of a growth because energy was anyways, that's not what I wanted. Okay. I'm trying to let it flow. Um, but I don't want to get sidetracked here. So if you choose to come back to your body, love your body, take care of your body. And if you set your boundaries and you're like, this is mine, <laughs> you essentially um, I'm getting an image of like the cobra coming out, like coaxing the cobra out of, um, I don't know, someone have that to give me that explanation. The, I don't know what the guy was called that coaxed the cobra out. Um, anyways, you get to set the standard for how you want to be treated and relationships are this like it's given I don't like give and take anymore I like give and receive because I think it's like it takes a lot to open to receive um and give and take just feels very shallow to me it's like I want to be connected I want to feel the flow of energy but um it does take like spending that time with yourself and choosing that. So maybe it's not meant for everybody, but I do know that being in my feminine energy, I feel grounded. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is what also came to me is that regardless, women lead in the physical. And so we get these intuitive hits and it's whether or not we choose to tune into that more. Um, and that does mean that you're going to open up these darker, like more wild aspects of yourself. Lilith is Lilith. I'm pretty sure is like, was like the one I worked with from the beginning. Um, my Lilith is in Aries. My bad. My Lilith is in Libra. But that's a hard, that's a crazy placement because Libra is about balance. So, but with Lilith there is like, so it was like when I'm not balanced, it's like, okay, it's like <laughs> explosive. So, um, I, anyways, my life journey has just led me to the places that I've been, but I started following my intuition more and more and more, but it's, that has led me to, to healing and to feeling better and to loving myself more and to all of this goodness. Um, it ha it is a, it does take patience. It is a, it is a, it is a long path. It's not the path of stress and go, go, go and have all the things. Um, but to me, slowing down, honoring patients, honoring my, learning to honor my body. It's a process. It's still a journey. <sighs> Slowing down and feeling connected to things. And, um, my journey with my, with Teddy has also like brought me to this place as well. So, um, but I know that I want to keep following this journey and give back however I can and help other women to own, come back to and love our bodies and our, and our inner, and our natural like way of being. And 
there's gonna be people maybe who think you're crazy, but we are naturally psychic and intuitive and that's a, a gift, those are gifts. Um, that's how I see it. And the right man will honor those parts about you. And that's to me how it should be is that it's like, I love my body. I want it to be treated. I want to be treated like I'm fragile and I'm special. And like, a, I, was, I always get these analogies about roses. And so it's that sort of like that. It's like, yes, we're fragile, but we also have thorns and we will <laughs> use them if we have to, you know, type of thing. But I mean, like respect, I think of it as like respect each other's boundaries, not like I'm going to stab you with my thorn. <laughs> Um, okay. So this message may not be for everyone, but I'm just letting it come out. And I think that there's always, there may always be this fear of like the unknown and like the, the power of the feminine and the chaos and the psychic abilities and that sort of thing. But like, I just think there's something really special about unlocking these different, these different things. If that's the journey that you want to take. And I don't, once we realize that the fear is just that, and that we're actually, we have to, in different ways, push past that anyway. So it's like choosing between comfort and security versus taking a deeper journey um, and an intimate journey. Um, so we can't just completely avoid the fear, but it also can be this really beautiful, fulfilling, enriching juiciness um okay that's all that's coming through right now <laughs>